let's use our 3ZN2 plus plus 2Al goes to zinc metal plus, I'm sorry, it's a th uh, three zinc metal, three zinc metal plus two Al3 plus, plus two Al3 plus. So notice what's happening here. Zinc ion is turning into zinc metal. Aluminum metal is turning into aluminum ion. Because the metals are actually there as species, one of them is becoming a metal, one of the metals is turning into, you can actually use these metals as the electrodes. You don't have to use platinum. You don't have to use some inert. The only time that you need some inert platinum electrode is when the things being oxidized and reduced are aqueous ions and they stay aqueous ions. So in this case, what this looks like is the following. Okay. This is the water level, by the way, so I should make it like this. This is just, yeah, that's right. So what this looks like is, and there we go. Uh, for the time being, it doesn't matter where we put what. So how about if I put the aluminum, how about if I make this the aluminum metal? And if I make this the zinc metal, that means here I have zinc ion in solution, and here I have aluminum ion in solution and I actually may not have any aluminum ion in there yet, what ends up happening is the following. Zinc is being reduced, aluminum is being oxidized. Well, here's the aluminum, it is oxidized. Oxidation, anode. So this is the anode, this is the cathode. Oxidation is where electrons are lost. That means this aluminum metal, electrons are being pulled from the aluminum metal and they're traveling through this wire. When they arrive here, they attach themselves to zinc ion that's touching the metal surface, and zinc metal starts to form on top of the zinc electrode. That's why we use it. Because it's a metal, we can actually use it as the electrode. So zinc metal starts to form, and this aluminum starts to break down the aluminum starts to dissolve. When it, aluminum gives up its electrons, it turns into aluminum ion. So now a whole bunch of aluminum ion is going into solution. The metal is turning into the ion. Here, the zinc ion is turning into the metal. That's what's happening. Okay. Now, let's see. So let me write down when the species When the species being oxidized, oxidized is a metal and or the species being reduced becomes a metal like this. Aluminum is oxidized, it's a metal. Zinc is the species, it's becoming a metal. We can go ahead and use those metals as the electrodes. You don't have to use platinum. Metal. Then the electrodes can be the metals themselves. The electrodes can be the metals themselves. Remember what we just said, aluminum metal, zinc wants the electrons. It, electrons disappear, an aluminum atom loses its electrons. The electrons flow this way. When it loses its electrons, it becomes aluminum ion. Therefore, aluminum ion goes into solution. That's what's happening. Zinc is forming. At this interface where the zinc metal is in contact with the zinc ion solution, the ions grab the electrons, and the minute they grab the electrons, the zinc 2 plus become, they grab two electrons, it becomes zinc zero, it becomes zinc metal, so zinc metal starts to form on top of the zinc metal electrode. This starts to dissolve. Now, this process right here, this metal dissolving, this is what happens when a metal dissolves an acid. 
This is an oxidation reduction reaction. As it turns out, when you drop a metal into acid, like for example, if you drop zinc into acid or aluminum into acid, um, what's going to happen is an oxidation reduction reaction. So I want you to be able to see this. So this When metals dissolve in acid, not all metals do. When metals dissolve in acid, this is an oxidation reduction reaction. This is an oxidation reduction reaction, not an acid base reaction. like you might think. Just because an acid is involved in this particular case, it doesn't mean it's an acid-base reaction. Well, here's what's happening. If I take zinc metal and I drop it into acid, zinc gets oxidized. In other words, zinc loses two of its electrons, and it turns into zinc ion plus two electrons. That metal, that zinc metal dissolves, and it's dissolving because the metal is turning into zinc ion, and the zinc ion is going into solution. Well, if the zinc is oxidizing, then what the heck is reducing? As it turns out, hydrogen ion, the acid itself, is reducing. Hydrogen ion, the acid in solution, actually grabs onto those two electrons. Two hydrogen ions grabs onto that, and what do you think it becomes? It becomes hydrogen gas. Those are the bubbles that you see when you drop a metal into acid. When you drop a metal into acid, the hydrogen ion wants the electrons stronger than the zinc does. It rips electrons away from zinc. Zinc goes into solution. In other words, it dissolves, it melts. Hydrogen ion grabs those two electrons. Each hydrogen ion takes one electron, so now you have two hydrogen atoms, hydrogen atoms that are in proximity to each other. They bind, they form hydrogen gas. That gas bubbles off. That's what you see. So when you put acid on some sort of organic substance, it'll melt, that's, it'll dissolve, but that's an acid-base reaction. That's a transfer of protons. When you drop a metal into acid, this is an oxidation reduction reaction. They have the same physical effect. Things dissolve, but it's completely different chemistry. Really, really important to understand that. This is sort of the key. And this reaction right here will become very, very important in our next lesson when we discuss something called standard reduction potentials. So until then, thank you for joining us here at educator.com. We'll see you next.